guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm filming like a little bit of a birthday haul. Basically, if you didn't know, my birthday was exactly two days ago. And, you know, I had some friends and family and a boyfriend who bought me some really nice things, so I thought it might be fun to show them off to you in a video today. I also bought myself some things because treat yourself. But let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually something that wasn't sent for my birthday. It was just very aptly timed and arrived on my birthday, so I just thought I would show it off because it is a book and who doesn't like books. And that is A World Without You by Beth Revis. This was sent to me by Quarterly & Co, which is a subscription box service. They basically sent me a preview of the book that's going to be in their new box. Their whole like model is they have an author curate each of their quarterly boxes with one of their new releases. In each of these novels, everything is annotated and everything along those lines. And they also include two books that inspired the author as well, which was pretty dang cool. So they were like, yo, you want this book? And I was like, yeah, send it on over. I have a link down below to more information if you want to find out. But I am going to be unboxing the box when it comes out in later July. I'm pretty excited. This book is giving me the impression that it's kind of blending um, like magical realism perhaps with mental illness, family dynamics, and things like that. It follows our main character who his whole life is under the impression that he can in fact time travel. When he gets a little bit older his family sends him off to a academy where he thinks is a school for kids with superpowers like himself. He falls in love with a girl who has invisibility, something tragic happens to her, and while everyone's trying to tell him to deal with his grief, he's under the impression that she's just stuck somewhere in time. This book sounds like it might honestly be incredibly touching, dark, but um, it's, it's intriguing to me. I kind of think it's a very interesting premise. It might be a difficult read to get through, but it sounds very good, and it has some pretty fantastic blurbs on here by authors, so I'm intrigued. The next couple things I'm going to show you were gifts by my boyfriend. He got me a lot of Harry Potter related things for my birthday this year, which because, I mean, like, the first set of things was actually these, like, Harry Potter potions. I'm going to zoom in on each of them because, like, this is not clearly working. He ventured on Etsy and got these like cool potions. Like this is the Truth Serum, you know, very like spooky, Harry Potter scary going on. We got a Polyjuice potion. Watch out, Slytherin common room. <laughs> and lastly, and I think this one's my favorite because it reminds me of bath salts, <laughs> but um, some flu powder. And they each come in like these super cute like packaging. I'll find out what Etsy shop he got them from and I'll be sure to link it down below because these things are really really cute and I'm excited to kind of house them on my shelf next to my Harry Potter books. And to you know top it all off. He ah, almost dropped it. He also got me a time turner necklace to put on my bookshelf as well. Maybe even wear. It's pretty like giant but like I think this is more like a a bookshelf ornament if you will. The next thing was like a combination I bought some stuff of it with myself and my mom got it for me for my birthday. It was like a group effort. And that is this backpack thing. I love this thing. It makes me feel like an explorer every time I wear it. It's a very small backpack from Fossil. It was on sale. I got it for a good price. My mom got me the backpack. I got this bomb keychain. It's literally a little pine cone man. It's so cute. Look at it. He even has teeth. He even has teeth. But yeah, I got this. I've been wearing this. And I also went ahead and picked up from Fossil. A new wallet. Very utilitarian, but I really needed a new wallet. So I got this guy, and it's been a party ever since I got this. It's just been like, let's go, guys. I also had to pick up a few things for myself because I'm going to a movie premiere next week. Like, even saying those words makes me feel absurd. But surprisingly, I know this is going to catch you all by surprise, I didn't actually have a lot of movie premiere wear in my closet, so I bought a few things in anticipation for this. The, the main piece is this. I'm doing a really great job showing it off, but it's this jumpsuit from Madewell. It's super flattering. It's like a lace applique overlay. I don't know. It's it's like it's like fancy, but it's not too flashy, which is kind of what I was going for. And it has legs, so it's like not too short either. I love jumpsuits. I think they're really fun and really flattering. So I got this guy for the event. <laughs> jumpsuit. I'll have Instagram pictures. Don't worry. It'll look better than how I'm showing it off now. And I also got a pair of shoes I've been eyeing for forever, and now I had, I had an excuse to buy them, so I was like, do it. And they came in the box. I'm going to show you the box. I think the box is hilarious. And it says, we accept the shoes we think we deserve, which I just think is really funny. But the shoes are, wait for it, they're beautiful. These guys, oh, they're just so nice. They were on sale at Urban Outfitters. They might still be. They were like 40% off. They're just like, 
a reasonably heighted ankle strap shoe by Jeffrey Campbell, who if you didn't know, the shoes are a little expensive, but they're also very, very comfortable. Like, I can always wear them for hours and it not, it's not even a problem. It's not even a problem at all. And the last couple things I'm going to show you guys, my boyfriend also got me because he spoils me, what can I say? And it's a, I got another purse because I'm a purse. I just love purses from Fossil, and it's this Fossil purse. I just think it's so fun. It's like a little octagon, and it's like bright cherry tomato red, so if I'm not wearing my red glasses, I can still have that red signature color on. But I just thought the shape was really fun. It's really good if I don't want to carry a lot with me, clearly. It's just the perfect little package of a purse. I really, really enjoy it a lot. And the last thing I have to show you guys is a bit of a mammoth, like quite literally. And it is this. It is a Harry Potter ba bathrobe with like dramatic hood and flared sleeves included. Clay got this for me. He did give me a Gryffindor one. Granted, I'm a Ravenclaw, but it's so comfortable. So comfortable, but then I don't even mind. It's pretty great. Basically, I'm going to have a Harry Potter watching movie marathon and just wear this the whole time. It's going to be such a good time. All I need is a wand now, and I'm just all set. They can just accept me already. I have the outfit, I have the books, it's good guys. Alrighty guys, that is everything that I kind of got for my birthday. I do plan on going book shopping later in today, so I will be having some more books that I'm going to buy myself that I'll show off in the end of the month because books. But this is kind of all the nickety knack stuff I got for my birthday and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys also had a great weekend and I will see you soon with another video soon. Goodbye!